Justice Mark Andhika who was appointed by the BCCI as the head of the advisory panel to deal with the implementation of the Loda Committee recommendations has submitted his interim report to the board. Kaju has uh, come down heavily on the Loda Committee and called it bogus, also asking the board not to interact with the members of the panel. He said BCCI needs to file a review petition against the order as uh, early as possible. The Supreme Court has given BCCI six months to implement the Loda Committee recommendations and Kaju in his 43-page interim order has said the order is not binding on the BCCI. Justice also said the Supreme Court order has set out a dangerous trend as nothing prevents the courts from regulating and controlling the media, Bollywood and functioning of political parties. Remember, the BCCI is in a fix ever since the Supreme Court directed the board to implement the Lodha panel recommendations which will affect a majority of board members including President Anurag Thakur and other members of the BCCI. Mr. Markande Kaju joins us for a chat on India Today. Mr. Kaju, you are not, you have decided that BCCI should not go and meet uh, Lodha committee, uh, Lodha panel because uh, there was a news that they will be meeting uh, the panel on 9th uh, of this month. I have, I have uh, recommended not to meet L Lodha committee, firstly because I have recommended the BCCI to file the review petition on the uh, ground that in fact <laughs> the very judgment of Supreme Court was without jurisdiction. So the, it in meeting <coughs> Lodha committee is pointless. And the way Lodha committee has been behaving, is this the way to behave? Behaving as if you are a uh, emperor issuing farman and fatwa? So I, I have advised them not to meet Lodha committee. <laughs> If Loda and Mr. Loda wants to meet me, he is welcome to meet me. I will never meet him. He was a High Court judge when I was a Supreme Court judge. And he is saying that I will not meet Justice Card. He does not know how to behave to elders. Is this the way? I am much senior to him. What does uh, the BCCI, the problems that BCCI faces and what, what, are the, what, are, what would the review petition say? If you can, in a common man's language, there if you can explain. There are some allegations against everybody. The point is that Pursuant to those allegations, are you going to throw all law and constitution to the winds? Are you going to uh, proceed in violation of law and the, and the constitution? That is my point. The constitution prescribes separation of powers. Law making is the power of the legislature. Here the judiciary is making law by directing implementation of uh, Lodha committee recommendation. This is wholly illegal. There was Mr. Mudgal also involved in this. There was Mr. Lodha and a host of senior judges uh, and also not to mention uh, also the Chief Justice of India, Mr. T.S. Thakur and also Justice Kafiul. So uh, do you think that they've missed their point completely? All they've these missed judges? Comple completely what I'm saying. What I'm saying they have completely missed. I today in today's talk I explained to you <coughs> how the constitution has been violated, how the Tamil Nadu Society Registration Act has been violated. Everything has been violated, thrown to the winds. This has been missed by all these gentlemen. Um, if they have missed, I am not to blame. Final question, sir. Do you actually see light at the end of the tunnel? Do you actually see something happening <laughs> if the review petition is filed or uh, we are in for a long legal battle Listen, again? I am not an astrologer. I cannot tell you what will happen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. From New Delhi with camera person Sanjay Khan, Ati Charma for India Today.